Dry eye is a multifactorial disease of the ocular surface characterized by a loss of homeostasis of the tear film and accompanied by ocular symptoms. Various factors play etiological roles in the vicious circle of dry eye disease, including ocular surface inflammation. ICAM-1 may be overexpressed in patients with dry eye disease. It's part of a key pathway that plays a central role in activating T cells and perpetuating the cycle of inflammation through binding to LFA1, a cell surface protein found on T cells. Inactive T cells circulate freely, monitoring for antigens and are key in inflammatory responses. Ocular surface stress can cause overexpression of inflammatory mediators. In response, inactive T cells can be recruited and activated. These activated T cells release inflammatory cytokines, which can further recruit and activate more inactive T cells. This is thought to initiate and perpetuate the chronic inflammatory cycle. Specifically designed to target a source of inflammation in dry eye disease, it is thought that Zydra targets both inactive and active T cells thereby helping to disrupt the continuing cycle of inflammation. Zydra blocks LFA1 on inactive T cells from binding with overexpressed ICAM1 on the ocular surface and may prevent formation of a specialized cell junction between specific immune cells, which may inhibit T cell activation. Zydra is thought to inhibit migration of activated T cells to the ocular surface and may reduce cytokine release. Zydra is a first-in-class prescription therapy thought to target both active and inactive T-cells in order to interrupt the chronic cycle of inflammation. <laughs>